big giant, huh, Bowley? Sure ain't no midget, Jackie. Do you mean to tell me David we sailed all this way just to try and stow a bunch of heathen idols aboard the Rattler? Well, we're putting into Rapa Nui to see about a cargo of archaeological relics. According to the pilot book, this fellow weighs several tons. The ladies of Cardin couldn't even get him off the ground. Glad isn't a shipmate of mine. Now, this here picture reminds me of an Amazon woman I once Never knew. Never mind the women, bosun. What I want to know, David, is uh, what did we come here for? Surely not a cargo of idols. Well, according to this letter, we've got to come to Rapa Nui and take a charter from there. You see, it signed our barriers for the governor. This around the Rapa Nui used to be an old pirate hangout, didn't it, Captain? Yeah, I guess it was at one time. Do we have any assurance that uh, piracy isn't still an active business there, David? You know, most of them went out of business neck first a long, long time ago. Well, I'm thinking if we go digging after some old buried idols, we're likely to get our full heads blown off. As Jackie would say, it plenty taboo. Well, we'll just wait and see you. You stay and keep a weather eye open for our barriers, will you? Aye, aye, Captain. Bosun, see that rum is set up in the Captain's cabin for our visitor. Hmm? Aye, Mr. Snow. Oh, and Jackie, will you go up to the store and get a couple of boxes of limes? Aye, Skipper. Come on. We know some of this crazy Paulie. What means pratik? Pratik, Jackie, is permission given by a port authority to enter a port. Not that way, Jackie. Always belay with the sun. Suppose you're tired of nighttime, no sun. You know, someday, Jackie, I'm going to tie you up and throw you overboard. Hey, Bowley, officer here now. Amigos. I'm looking for Captain David Grief. Is he aboard ship? Well, no, ma'am, he ain't. He go catch fatigue. Now, uh, Jackie, why don't you get to town and pick up those lines for the captain like he told you? Wiki, wiki. And tell him the barometer's fallen fast. All right. Begging your pardon, ma'am, would you be having some business with Captain Grief? Indeed I do. I'm our barrios. We have chartered this vessel. How soon can you get it out of the harbor? Well, as quick as a wink. All we need is words from Captain Grief. Muy bien. You sure you need no one else's permission? Permission? Why, no. Why, why, once when I shipped aboard with Captain Grief, now this was on one of his freighters, he gave orders to pull out at six bells. Well, the crew didn't look so sharp, and they didn't cast off the howitzer line fast enough. And you know what he did? No. Well, he came aboard, and he gave orders for full steam ahead, and he snapped those howitzer lines just like they were thread, four and aft. And we pulled out sharp at six bells. Indeed. This Captain Grief of yours must be a muy gran hombre. What's that? A very big man. Well, well, that he is, but not quite as big as me, Bowley. Well, now I feel more assured. And that's a fine-looking vessel. Ah, that she is, and the captain had had my ears if I didn't keep her ship shape at all times. Tell me, senor, can you carry much cargo? I mean boxes, many, many boxes. Oh, that we can. But I'm hoping you're not figuring on shipping one of those idols from Rapa Nui. I'd hate to be out in a rough sea when her lashings broke loose. There will be no idols, Senor Boli. That I can assure you. Just boxes. Very heavy boxes. And now can I wait for your captain aboard ship? It'll be my pleasure, ma'am. Can I help you aboard? Thank you. Captain! Hello, Jackie. Where's the fire? The one officer, he come on board. Only he woman. She now aboard ship with Bowley. What's the matter with you, Jackie? You been sampling my rum or something? Oh, no. Me saw plenty too much no take rum. We'll soon settle this. The port captain should be in the customs house. Yeah, should be. Please, Captain, you hurry back to ship. Woman, she plenty bad luck for Rattler. Bowley say barometer fall fast. Well, I hope it falls right on top of his head. Talking about bad luck, you're going to have plenty of it if those lambs out of ball the time we get back. Limes. Limes. Uh, 
Siéntese, por favor. Estoy a sus órdenes, señor. Bueno, a sus órdenes, señores. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand too much Spanish. Oh, forgive me. I merely said I'm at your service. Captain Pizarro Hernandez of Rapanui. Oh, I'm Captain Grief of the schooner Rattler. The Rattle? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, this is my first mate, Mr. Snow. It's an honor to have you gentlemen here in Rapanui. Now, tell me what can I do for you? Oh, the usual things. Inspection, pratique. And one question. Do uh, pirates ever come to Rapanui anymore? I assure you, Mr. Snow, the only pirates that come to Rapa Nui now are the ghost of the old buccaneers, and they have been dead for over 200 years. Oh, and tell me, uh, is the governor really an archaeologist? Whatever Mr. Barrios tells you he is, that's what he is. If it amuses him to be an archaeologist, then my advice is let him be amused. You know where I can find him? Who knows? Probably at the old quarry. That's where the natives, in ancient times, carved the stone aisles you still see that in our islands. Pardon my curiosity, Captain, but uh, what does your country want with an island that lies 2,000 miles off our coast? And what does the United States want with Hawaii that lies 2,100 miles from San Francisco? <laughs> well, you see, he's answered your question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, could you get word to the governor that we're here and ready for charter? Oh, certainly. And now, if you will accompany me, I will inspect your vessel. Just as a matter of routine, of course. Oh, it's a funny thing, but one of my native crewmen, he was under the impression that the port captain of Rapa Nui was a woman. A woman? Do I look as if I wear petticoats? Well, I can't see any. <laughs> Jackie gets the craziest ideas. This interests me. Why does he think a woman? Well, he says that uh, a young lady came aboard the Rattler. Did he say what this young lady looked like? No, no, he didn't. Well, I think I'd better inspect your vessel. Will you wait for me outside? I must speak to my side. What do you mean, let the girl get away? I don't know anything, Capitan. You didn't? Now listen to me. Get word to Mr. Riley. Tell him the rattle has arrived. Then get your squad and proceed as planned. Bravo. I wonder what got his tail feathers up in the shrouds. Oh, who knows? These caballeros are up in the air in a minute. Maybe it was a special girlfriend of his we were talking about. Oh, I'm sorry if I said anything in there that upset you. It's nothing. I, you would forget my poor English, which is not equal to your jest. Signor Ali, the letter is important. Let's get the rest of these boxes loaded. I want everything on board that tub, right after dark. Enter the box near. What depredations are you planning now, contrabandista? You people never know when you're licked. My people have never been licked, as you call it, by carrion. We should have had you hang a century ago. Don't take it so hard, Governor. Think what you would do to me if our positions were reversed. That's the only pleasure I have permitted myself, since you offer me the indignity of irons. Fortunes of war. I see now I should have had you shot. You're peace-loving, Governor. Peace doesn't pay. Unfortunately, I believe in the justice of a trial. I forgot that people like Capitan Hernandez have a price in gold. And you don't have a price? No price for my honor. The pirate gold I found buried beneath the idols of Rapa Nui belongs to my country. I have no country, but with all that gold I've got, I think I'll buy me one when Captain Grief brings me to one I like. You have purchased Captain Grief as well? No, Governor, just a little piracy. Oh, 
I hope I live to see you hang. And maybe I'll take along your daughter, just as a hostage. Everything all right, Bowley? Can I have a word with you, Captain? Yeah, just a minute. Mr. Snow, take the captain and show him over the ship. You'll find our holds are clean and our hearts are pure, Captain. Uh, oh, for Lara, I have no doubt. After you, Mr. Snow. So what's the matter, Bowley? Your face is as red as a powder flag. You've been hitting my rum, too. Oh, no, sir. You know I never drink on duty, sir. Why, the sun's not even over the yard arm. Sir, but please don't take that port cabin to your cabin yet. Why not? Well, sir, the... there's a woman there. So what's the matter with that? What are you looking so sanctimonious about? But, but you don't understand. This is a beautiful woman. All right, well, they're far easier to look at than the ugly ones. Well, but, sir, this is a, Mr. Barry, is the, 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 the charter. Where did you get that Mr. stuff? Oh, Captain, I'm all confused. All I know is that he came aboard. I mean, she came aboard, and I, and I, and I took her to your cabin, like you said, and laid out the grog. All right, well, I'll go below and take a gander at this mermaid of yours. Hardly expecting a... A girl? No, I knew it was going to be a girl, but I didn't expect it to be such a pretty girl. I'm David Grief. I'm Raquel Barrios. Ah, oh, Barrios. No wonder my bosom was confused. I must say I'm a little bewildered myself. Forgive me if I proceed in a hurry, Captain Grief, but things have gone very wrong. Can you leave immediately? Oh, I'm afraid I can't, senora. Or is it senorita? Senorita, please, we have no time to lose. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, senorita. But who's the we? Who else you got in on this deal? I speak for my father, Ramon Barrios, the governor. We need your help. Well, if you're pleased to help you, what can I do for you? We want you to proceed at once and find our government gunboats. Well, I haven't had a chance to load the cargo or anything. That's just it. We will pay you not to load any amount you ask. Look, miss, I've sailed over a thousand miles to pick up this cargo and run it into Valparaiso. And now you tell me to... To leave as quickly as possible. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, David. I, I thought you were alone. I was just talking business with Miss Barrios here. If you'd like to go up on deck, I'll be with you in a moment. You have no right to be here. Perhaps we'd better go. Let me show you the rest. No, I... I would like an explanation. The senorita's my guest. If you go up on deck, I'll be with you in a second. This way, Captain Hernandez. I'm so sorry, Miss Barrios. You shouldn't have come here. You were in the guard. I came to get help from my father. Where is he? Your father is now, let us say, a guest of Senor Riley. Senor Riley? <laughs> His real name is Miguel Fuentes. He's a renegade, a thief, and a smuggler. Senor Riley is a friend of mine. You'll be wise enough, for your father's sake, not to insult him. Because his plan, your crew is under arrest. You and your men will be held here until Mr. Riley has need of you. Miss Barrios will come with me. Supposing I refuse? The captain's life is in your hands. Where do you go? Tell your soldiers, tie this man, remove all arms, and have them gathered. David? What do you think? Yo, 
you grinning land lover. If I ever get loose from here, I'll break every bone in your body. Don't waste that day, Ramblin'. I gotta get a part, part down my gullet. Captain Grief. Me know where they take Guainis. Right you are, Jackie. Come on, follow me. David, what was that? Oh, mice, probably. Holy. Jackie, come on, come on. Get me loose from here. Come on. No, my wrists are numb. How do you think I feel after that tin soldier tried to pack my skull with that pistol? Oh, your head always was numb. Oh, all right, all right. I'll take it back. Come on, unloosen me. Come on, Mr. Snow. We got work to do. Let's get into action. Do you think we can get over side without those swabs hearing us? Well, we're going to try it. Goldie, up top side. We'll create a diversion. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> help! Help! Fire the forepins! Drop it off! Crowley. Soldiers are asleep now, Captain, for sure. Mr. Snow, you stay aboard and tie them up. Where are you going? For sure, to settle a few accounts. We got no guns, what do we do? The Riley has, eh? He's also got the girl, we gotta find him. I know where they take Wayne. Here in time, I'll go on ahead. Now, 
Now, let me understand this. By dawn, the boxes would be loaded. The rattler would be at sea, and the governor will remain as my guest until I receive word that you have landed safely with the gold. How about the girl? The senorita stays with me as a hostage. It would be my life if anything goes wrong with the plan now. If all goes well, you'll be as rich as the king of Spain. What have you got to lose? Only his head. see what that is. Senor Riley, come quickly. Fernandes, where are you? Here. Send the captain away, Father. How fortunate you did not succeed. Well, I've sailed over a thousand miles to pick up a charter. I don't give up that easy. I guarantee you won't, Captain. Beyond that, we are in such a debt to you that it'll be impossible to repay. Happy to have been in service. Ship's ready to sail, Captain. Tide's running. All right, Mr. Snow. Your orders are unchanged with regard to the gold, sir. You are the one man I can trust to carry the gold to our treasury of Valparaiso. You will return someday? Yeah, I guess I will. Maybe even ship that giant idol of Rapa Nui out of here for you. The idols of Rapa Nui will wait for you, and so will I. David, hurry! Jackie gonna catch plenty of trouble. How's that, Jackie? They load plenty of boxes of gold. Forget load boxes of limes. 